Today we're going to show you how to change the water inlet valve on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All you need is a quarter inch nut driver, a 5 16 nut driver, and the utility knife. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, we will need to pull the refrigerator out far enough to access the back panel. So you will need to disconnect the power, simply pull the plug, and you may also need to disconnect the water supply. So turn the water valve off first, and then disconnect it at the inlet water valve. Next, we'll remove the back panel. It's held in place with four quarter inch hex head screws. Take care not to damage the back panel. It is important for the proper operation of the refrigerator. And we'll set that aside and we now have access to the component. Now if you haven't already removed the inlet water line to the water valve, you should turn that supply off now and disconnect that water line. And then we'll remove the 5 16 hex head screw that secures the bracket to the side of the refrigerator. And just lift up gently on the valve, pull it to the side, and you can pull it out far enough that we can access the tubing and the wire harness at the back. So we've disconnected both harnesses. They are two different size terminals, so you can't mix them up. Now the two outlets from the valve are two different sizes as well. They have a quick connect coupling on them, so push in on that collet till it's flush up against the valve. At the same time, pull the tubing out. There may be some water come out of those tubes, so I have something there to sock that up. And then discard the old valve. Now before we reconnect the tubing, just inspect the ends of it. There's probably a little crimp where they had fit in before. So it's a good idea just to trim a little of that tubing off with your utility knife. Make a nice square cut across the end of the hose. Insert that tubing into the new valve and push it in till it bottoms out. And just give it a little tug to make sure that it's secure. Make sure we root that line that feeds the ice maker out through the front. There's a little slot there that it'll slide into. And tuck that tubing back down behind the compressor tubing. Reconnect the wire harnesses. And we'll insert that little hook on the water barrel bracket into a small hole on the side of the cabinet. Put the 5 16 screw back in place. protective cover from the inlet. We're ready to reconnect our water supply and turn it on, check for any leaks, and then we can put the back panel on. Now we're ready to put the back panel on. Tuck it into place. Reinstall the four quarter inch hex head screws. Now reconnect the power and the water supply and our repair is complete.